hello my beautiful friends I hope everyone is well I thought we would do a jar today I'm hoping to get through it all if not we'll do half and then half tomorrow or another day uh yeah it's been uh, an eventful week to say the very least but I'm gonna put things behind me today and I'm gonna dive into this jar because You know, my husband says, the older we get, the more life throws at us. <laughs> and that's kind of putting it mildly. Definitely true. The older you get, the more life throws at you, for sure. So, um, we're going to throw something back. <laughs> we're going to try to just do some jewelry today. And, um, I'm hoping that I have everything plugged in the way I need to have it plugged in. It's been a while. Let me just make sure that my other camera, my, I mean, my charger is on. And oh my goodness, I'm so disorganized. You know, I am home, but I am working harder than I ever worked. Honestly. And I bet the kids are too. You know, I'm a teacher. If you don't know and you're new to the channel, I'm a teacher who moonlights as a jewelry aficionado, collector, addict, and uh, definitely, oh my goodness, the calls I'm getting are like, I can't handle this. The parents, the moms, what do I do? I can't get on. And I'm in, you know, I mean, just so many different stories and some from my own relatives, they're like having, um, having an issue. Some are really enjoying the time with their kids and taking advantage of that and I've been trying to tell them hey just hone in on the skills that you know are are needed right now and don't worry about every single thing you know it's just not worth the stress but yeah some people are definitely having a hard time I'm definitely working a lot harder <laughs> because I base I feel like an intern on call 24 7 and that's fine because sometimes they can't get on there's crashes there's all kinds of things going on with our online system right now and many of us are not used to, you know, having to be teacher, parent, and everything. So I'm going to try to just lighten that load a little bit tonight and just talk a little bit about jewelry and see what is in this jar. I probably had this. I wonder if they have this by the month. Sometimes their codes are, are like by the month or something, but I can't quite tell. But this one was $29.99. I see some... Um, Maybe Scrabble jewelry and maybe some, yeah, it looks like it's got links on the Scrabble pieces in there. That looks interesting. And we have been finding some pretty good stuff in these $29.99 bags. I never did find that, um, that little earring, that turquoise earring. That came from another store and I don't have met much hopes of finding it again because I opened all of their bags. But I'm hoping to get back as soon as they open up. They were one of the last ones to close. Oh, there's something that has like a little, I don't know, it almost looked like a little locket in there, doesn't it? Anyway, let me say hello to a couple of people and then we'll get started. And I really do appreciate you coming in tonight. I hope you hit that thumbs up when you walked in the door. If not, do it before you go. And if you're new to the channel, take the time today to subscribe so that you can be part of the gang here and uh, get your notifications if you hit the bell. You'll be notified when I go live or whenever there's a fresh video. And I have been missing checking up with you guys in the mornings and everything. I'm trying to do, do that again. I will likely do one tomorrow. I'm going to try to do that because I don't have, I do have office hours, but I have some really important meetings late in the afternoon. And those are the ones I need to prepare for. So I'm going to try to get up really early. Maybe we'll get some coffee together and sit outside. The weather has been fabulous. All right. At least today, it was so sunny and nice. We did get some rain, though. Was it two days ago? Two days in a row, I think. It's been so nice. It really has. So get out there and enjoy the sunshine if you have it. Debbie, how are you, Miss Debbie? Claudio, Anna, Vanegas is here, Becky, Janet. Hey, Miss Lori and Gina Marie, as well as Allison Lily. Mary Ellen, Ruth Bond, how are you, Miss Bond? Michelle O is here as well as 
Leonor Ruiz. Leonor. That was my grandmother's name. Beautiful name. They actually named them. One of my nieces, they named her after her, and they named her Ava Leonor. And the chatbot sounded so nice. All right. Graciela's here. Sanja, Jody, Barb. All right. If I missed you, it's not because I wanted to. It's just that I want to get started, and um, my eyesight has gotten the best of me. Guys, the best productive thing I did today, I managed to print something. Okay, remember I told you I was having a hard time with, I'm still having a hard time with PayPal and everything else. But once we fixed up that glitch, then my my printer decided to go on the blink. And then I don't even want to get into the fact that uh, <laughs> shipping costs from your post office cost me about $3 extra per package. Don't even ask me how. We'll talk about it later. Right now we're just going to talk about nice things like pretty jewelry that's popping out of here. I already saw something really interesting pop out. Oh my goodness, that's a cute bracelet. That's, this isn't even the one I'm talking about. What does it say? Happen. Happen. Hmm. That's kind of cool. That is really kind of cool. I like this. I've seen so many cute crafts with, with Scrabbles. And I have such a collection of Scrabble games, guys. I do. I have vintage Scrabble games. I really love board games, and I used to sell a lot of them on Etsy. It's a little big on me, but it's so cute. And uh, my son is a real board game aficionado, so he and I used to love to play Scrabble. And he had this idea of building a giant Scrabble game, so we just started collecting Scrabble, <laughs> Scrabble boards and Scrabble tiles from everywhere, everywhere I went, so you wouldn't even believe it. I mean, I have so many, it's ridiculous. And then I got to where like, oh, I'm not, I didn't feel like, like listing them and they're still in the garage. Then I did sell some, but I was mostly selling like Clue. That's another really collectible one. If you guys ever run into the vintage Clue, look how precious. Oh my goodness, this is a nice one. Sometimes these um, dichroic glass are super, super cute. Oh, you do the one online? When we first started doing the ones online, I think it was the one on the phone. I started doing I really liked it and then Scrabble sued the app company because they didn't uh, well they I, rightly so they had you know stolen their copyright and it wasn't as much fun <laughs> the bootleg one was a lot was a lot more fun and you could play with all kinds of people online it was a lot of fun but I haven't done it in a while maybe it is now as well but that was in the beginning I didn't even know it was bootleg I just you know it was Scrabble so I got on it's a lot of fun but I, that's one of my favorite games for sure. I don't even know how to play Clue, actually. I've never played it. Isn't that gorgeous? That is huge. That is huge, and it is the prettiest color. Hmm, how can I describe this color? Kind of cranberry-ish, kind of grape. It's amazing. I really love the color, and it's got an array of colors, too. Really nice. Let me bring the lighting a little closer. Can you guys see that? Let me know how the stream is going, too. That was another problem today, the Internet. I'm telling you, the highlight of my day was my printer printing two labels because it made me reconnect the Wi-Fi, and it, I had to watch a YouTube video. Thank goodness for YouTube. I actually had to learn how to change the characters on the Canon <laughs> to put in the code because you have to go from you know put a plus sign and then a letter and I watched a YouTube video to help me do that and it did and I was like oh my goodness is YouTube not the best thing since sliced bread yes it is look at this this is what I was looking at it's a little frog prince he is darling this is what I said looked really cool how are you Doug I'm glad you're here and I never did find that earring, Doug. <laughs> I was just talking about it a minute ago. I never did find it. I'm going to see if uh, if Sandy will make a ring out of it for me. I'm going to send it to her. It's just Sandy has a channel here, and she does jewelry. She's a silversmith. Hey, Miss Vanessa, how are you? Look, it says Chico's on his butt. <laughs> this is solid, guys. This feels like brass. 
It is so precious. Okay, remember the frog prince brooch I got last time that I was going to list? My daughter stole it. She took it after all. This is precious. It's got a little heart with three stones, it kind of garnet colors, then a little topaz color, and it's a little hook on kind. I like it. I really, really like it because it's I think it's brass and I think it's solid. And it was 20 bucks, reduced to 10, made in the USA as well. Love that. Okay, here is a statement. No, I thought it was a statement necklace, but it's a bracelet. Missing the middle stone. That might be an easy replacement, though. Kind of round and easy size, I would think. Easy, you know, shape. So that needs repair. This is a cool bangle. Look at that. That is all of the, tri well, like tri-colors, I suppose. Kind of a silver tone, copper tone, um, kind of a gold tone, but more of the green. Did you guys know, I just read recently, that gold, one of the original colors of gold that was really popular, I think I read it in a book about jewelry, was green gold. I love rose gold, and it's kind of a rose gold here. I never heard of green gold. I guess I did. Kind of in the, which is that one? The Black Hills? Isn't that kind of a green gold? This is so big on me, guys. And it is so nice. It is like really nice and solid mesh. That's a beautiful bracelet. I love that. That is really cute. I think this popped out of there, too. It was a little stretchy. Let me see who else has popped in. Thank you guys so much for being here. Graciela Jody. And here's a cute watch. Where is this from? It just says quartz. And I don't think it's real leather. But it doesn't even look like it's been worn. It looks pretty new. Here's a little stretch white. Very nice. And there's my little bunnies. Aren't they precious? You believe it's going to be Easter, guys? I'm planning my little brunch for myself. For myself and my husband, see what we do. I think, who was it that said, oh, my cousin. I have a cousin that loves to cook and loves parties. Oh, my gosh, she lives for parties. Her daughter's first birthday party. I'm talking not just the pony, but a, uh, what was it, a potbelly pig. She had like a little petting farm. She just loves parties. And she was saying that she's going to have something for her and her husband. And she downloaded the menu from the Omni or some, one of the Mother's Day brunches that she likes to go to. And I like to go to the one at the Omni here too, but for Easter, it's amazing. So we're going to miss it this year, but she was telling me that she downloaded their menu and she's going to try to emulate it in some form or fashion. Isn't that gorgeous? I like this. It might be missing a piece. Looks a little bit like it might be missing one there, but that's pretty. Looks quite regal. And it's got a little broken piece, too. We'll have to remove some and make it look better. That's a nice one. Yeah, so I just can't believe it's already going to be Easter. I'm pulling out the bunnies. This is a very nice bracelet. It does need to be redone, however, because they are very heavy glass. And they feel like the stretch is just about going to give out with that. Those heavy beads can really weigh on the stretch bracelets sometimes and make them stretch quicker stretch out and lose their shape oh remember we found this is awesome remember we found all those rings with this kind of motif on them and they were enameled and this is kind of a cloisonne oh my gosh but i've never seen one like this is that a bird and a dragon we just started miss robin and i'm so glad you're here thank you so much be sure and hit that thumbs up guys you just have to leave the chat for a little bit Go over by the screen, and there's two thumbs there, and hit the one that's pointing upwards. Yeah, it's all birds. This one looked like a dragon, though. Oh, my gosh, it's cute, though, and it's super heavy. This is a well-made piece right here. Look at the inside. is even nice and fancy. That is really a nice one. And here's a little brown stretch. Hi, Miss Lisa and Laura. And... Uh, white, not quite a um, a cat eye, but uh, an acrylic. Hi, Joby.
stretchy pearls. These are not as heavy as the bracelet, so this is kind of just a, it's really a nice look though. I sent my granddaughter a, a jewelry box full of jewelry. <laughs> Some cute things in there though. Not, not a whole bunch, just like three things. And one of them, oh, look at this guys. This is a heavy metal too. What in the world? It's like brass. One of them was the cutest little, I'm sure you've seen it in one of my old hauls. It looks like somebody added something here. It looks cool. Um, and it was a little tiny envelope and it opened up. So it was a functioning envelope. And on the inside it said, I love you or I miss you. I think it said, I miss you. It's so cute. She should be getting that tonight. I'm so excited. Look at this, guys. This is really awesome. This is heavy brass. I love it. Yeah, someone went all out on this one, guys. I don't know if they tore down the house. This looks like a piece of, I don't know, something that might belong on your cabinets or your door or something. It's so heavy. And then they added some chains and pearls, and I'm, I'm really digging it. I think it's kind of cool. What do you think? I like it, and even the little wheat link chain is amazing yes yes thank you very much these are james avery they're brutalist design i just acquired them a few months ago i first got the gold one and then i don't know how i ran into the silver one and i had to have it too <laughs> thank you and um, they were they, they say on the google search and on their listings that they're from the 60s so one of the very early james avery designs I love them. They're very heavy, too. Okay, thank you. Let's go to another piece. I love that. Wow, this this is a nice... Look at that. This reminds me of Palm Sunday or something. I don't know what the design is, but it's a nice brooch, and it's made with, what do you, I guess, little, like, leads or something? Is that what you call that? Hi, Lisa. That's gorgeous. This is a really, really nice bag. You got a James Avery ring? What did you get? A stretch bracelet for me. I don't, Miss Kim. I really don't know anyone that's um, kind of... I know there's a few people here. I don't know if it's Ann Dar. I know she does jewelry, but I, I, she does a lot of metal work and things. So I don't know if she's really into beading. I wish I did, but if anybody is, please feel free to plug yourself, shameless plug in the chat, and just uh, give them your Facebook name or something so people can get in touch with you. Look at this bracelet, guys. This one's really cute, too. This one is wood. It's the little brass inlay, you know, with usually wood or some kind of mother of pearl or something. This is really pretty. I like the colors on that one. Very bright and pretty. Yeah, a lot of people do that work. I forgot um, who exactly, but some people do. And I, they've offered to do some for me. And then I forget who they are. Oh, my gosh, this is nice. These are glass, too, guys. Listen. Very nice. Tie-dye, Vanessa, you think? That's what it looks like, that bangle, right? I am loving this, this necklace. Oh, so pretty. It's kind of a, a it, in the light it looks brown, guys, and then you put it up against this and it looks black. So it's kind of a, con, I don't know, cognac, I guess, whiskey, what would you say, tobacco? All of those wonderful vices that I gave up. I'm joking, I never drank whiskey. Very nice. Very nice. Well, maybe I drank it in a whiskey sour or something, but never straight up. Okay, but that was long ago. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. That is really, really pretty. Tip of the hat to New Orleans and Louisiana and what they're going through right now. That's what I always think about when I see the fleur-de-lis. It's got a crown with A.B. stones. It says queen. 
Then it has another flirtily kind of tilted. This is so cool. And it's kind of molded with some kind of, um, what, do you, what would you say, epoxy? I don't know. And uh, like little beads in there. You can even see the little holes in some of the beads. That is so pretty. They poured it into some kind of mold. I like that. Very festive and pretty. This is a nice watch. What does this one say? Incline? Oh, that's a nice brand. Incline makes very, very... Yeah, that would be so cute. I love that. I love those colors. Really sweet. I'm trying to put this watch on. I think it's cute. I love it. I love the shape. I'm going to have to get a battery in that one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? None of the stones are missing either. There are probably little crystals in there. And then the face is kind of an AB. A little rainbow effect in there. That's really cool. I like that. Here's a silver bangle. Looks like silver tone, but should get the magnet and double check on that. Let me get the magnet out. Yeah, it's got a little pull, so it's probably brass or copper. Very nice. We got some fashion jewelry. I think we got some of these in the other bag that were very nice, too. They were kind of um, peach, I think. We got a pair of peach ones. All right. And then we have another watch over here. Sand, sun. What does it say? Sun, sand, surf. Sun, sand, surf. Cute. This looks like a kid's watch. It's really tiny. You're looking for a native watch. I actually am looking for a watch to replace my, because I have the, what, I don't even know what they're called, the little holders with the turquoise. I have a gorgeous one and it had like the perfect watch in it because it had little arrows and it just, it kind of went subtly with that Native American theme and then it broke. And they couldn't fix it, so I have to get a replacement for it. And I just found this little necklace that we found in the other jar. I just put it on. Remember the two Zuni pieces that we found? This is nice. These are natural stones. The two Zuni pieces that we found, and um, the, one of them was earrings, and I did sell those. And then I just found these, this necklace, guys, and I realized this choker is literally a choker. I believe it's 15 inches this one and then so I put it on right just to see if it fit and it did but it literally fit right here but I kind of liked it because that drop was just like perfection perfection so that's a really beautiful oh look I didn't even notice that's like a face on there they always do like a little face motif don't they the Zuni and Hopi love that so yeah that was one of the lucky finds from a couple of jars ago Anyway, we're back to this one. This is pretty, and this looks vintage, too, because of the uh, barrel clasp on it. I see amethyst. I see aventurine. I see some milky quartz. What do you guys see? Let me know in the comments what you see in here. These are gorgeous. Nice and heavy, too. And they're a nice size. Sometimes these are really chunky and long. This is a nice, easy size. Like a 20 inch, I think. And the chunks are, are nice. They're just, I think, really pretty for layering. Is Miss Fairy Vixen in here? How are you, Zeusus? I'm so glad you're here. Oh my goodness, yeah. These are interesting stones. I don't recognize the orange. The black, I don't know. Could be, uh, it's kind of shiny. It's kind of shiny. I don't really see onyx shine that much but uh, they're pretty very nice good good I'm glad you're doing well Ooh, look at this wow this was a good bag why are they gonna open the goodwill oh I'm so oh it's terrible to be pining I'm pining guys literally pining away for this fix that I need my goodwill jewelry fix oh my gosh this is a different statement piece guys I have never seen that color, first of all. And then that design. I don't know. People always think yellow and black, you know, bumblebee or something. But that is just gorgeous. 
I do too. I think the black sets everything off. It's just so fun. Look at that. Hi, Ann. How are you? It is. And it feels good. I believe they're acrylic, guys. So it's not like extra, extra heavy. It's really, really nice. There's also, guys, speaking of repairing stretch braces, and I'm thinking of really, I used to do a lot of beading myself, not like hand-sewn beading like anything Native American or anything like that. But I used to design jewelry like this and, and earrings, and I did do some really pretty Native American beads that are strung on cones and things like that years ago, and I loved it. You, you know, you have to know what wires to buy and all of that. But for the stretchy ones, I never really worked with stretch. I worked with the like the cat's tail or is it tiger tail or things like that. I really like to use that. But I know there are tons of videos too that will instruct you. So it might be a good thing to, to learn. Get yourself some um, crafter lots and, and start practicing that. I think it would be an awesome skill to learn because we get so many beautiful pieces that just need to be redone. This is a nice piece. All acrylic, gold tone, gold beads. Thanks, guys, for hitting the thumbs up. It looks like 50 of y'all did that. All you have to do is leave the chat for a minute right under the screen. You can hit the thumbs up. This is a, kind of a tortoise shell, but more like a just a solid root beer color. Bingo. Cute. And what have we here? I think these are ceramic made to look like something organic or bone or something and it looks like they may have not finished off the tip here it looks kind of you know kind of like a essay that doesn't have a good conclusion just leaves you hanging kind of like that right don't you think it needs something else hi miss angela silver how are you are there any Italians here? I heard that Italy is off lockdown now. I think I saw that little blurb in a in a Google alert or something. <clears throat> so if you are, all the best to you. Blessings. This is pretty too. I like when they do this. Like one side is saw. This needs a good bath though. But I bet it'll look really pretty, especially these that look like they want to be amber. Very nice. Knots all around. Some wood beads here. So very, very nice. Yes, I am praying for Italy as well, but I did hear they were off lockdown. And I do watch some uh, YouTubers here from Italy that... Um, their their videos are completely in Italian. I love the language. I love learning it. I did study it for a while. So that's why I watch it. And I just love everything about their channels. And everything from their fashion sense to their uh, know-how in the kitchen. <laughs> One of them was making, I thought it looked so good. I'll have to try it. She was making pancakes. And then she just topped them with Nutella. Oh my gosh, and I think some whipped cream or something. I was like, and she was super, she's like super into fitness. And um, she was like, yeah, once in a while you just have to splurge. This is cute, guys. I think it's a bracelet. Uh, obviously, it's a, you know small here, so it's all bunched up. And then these are little charms. And I'm not sure what this stone is. Kind of looks like adventuring, don't you think? And then this is probably glass right there. Your dad's in Greece. Oh, good. Good to hear that, Miss Angela. And I've been speaking with parents that are separated as well from their kids. Some of them were doing, uh, you know, they work in Puerto Rico or they work here or there. And they can't even leave. They didn't catch the, the time limit. And oh, my goodness, it's just, it's been horrible in many ways. This is a little gold tone. I don't know if it had something on the inside. It feels a little bare on the inside or something. That's a bangle. Oh my goodness, my magnet caught it. Did you hear that? That magnet caught it from across the table. Crazy how strong it is. 
Here's another stretch. These are pretty. I don't know if they're ceramic. They look like agate or jasper. I know, mine too. I love Greek food. Oh my goodness. I love it. And they, we've got some fabulous Greek restaurants here in Houston. We have quite a thriving community, actually, of um, Greek community. Okay, this is a bracelet, too, and I don't know why, but I think I've seen the necklace, and I may have put it in a mystery jar. Look at the bracelet. I believe I had the necklace. That is so cool. That is a nice look. Right? Hi, Miss Jude. Me too. I made um, smothered steaks today with mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, those mashed potatoes were sinful. Mashed potatoes and some really sweet corn. I was going to make a pea salad with uh, hard-boiled eggs and all that stuff, cheese and everything. But uh, I'll save that for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll probably make a cucumber and tomato salad to go with that as well. I really am into the side dishes. <laughs> Isn't that pretty, guys? I really love that, and it's in great condition. Oh, wonderful, Miss Mary Ellen. I'm so glad you like it. The, this bag is amazing, isn't it not? I'm, I'm going to go through the whole thing unless we go past an hour. Then we'll do the rest tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I'm telling you, I had the, the necklace. I know I had the necklace that matched it. It was really similar. So somebody got it in a mystery jar. If you did, let me know. I'll send you the bracelet for free for the in your next purchase or something. This is so cool. This is a stretch, stretch mesh. And it's kind of brass. I believe it's probably real brass. Rondelles with black rhinestones, kind of black diamond looking. Those are cute. That is really pretty. Don't we love the watch, guys? I am going to wear this watch. I have to put a battery on it. I like it because it's black. It goes with my stack of bracelets and everything. I hope it works. I'm sure it does. Most people just don't know how to change their batteries on watches, so they donate them. Okay, here they are in purple. So we had them in peach cream and purple. Here is an addition to a hippie lot. Hippie Beach. Uh, what was the other one? Sport Geek or what did you say last time? You? <laughs> this is a nice combination though. I like the brown in there. Some of this looks like beach glass or what's it called? Is it called beach glass? Sea glass? Very nice bracelet. I think it's actually on sterling. Let me check this clasp really quick. No, 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 not sterling, just kind of a patina color on it. That's nice. Ooh, the bikers. The biker rock and roll. Oh no, this is from Hot Topic. Yep. There we go. Anybody like that look? And it is leather. I think it's a bonded leather. Small, medium, hot topic. Studded cuff there. Oh my goodness. Little gold bangle. Silver bangle that was what? $39 from Banana Republic. It's even a Hallmark Banana Republic. Well, I'm going to have to polish it up then. It's got an interesting finish on it. Kind of looks a little bit like um, some stuff I've been seeing on Instagram. But they kind of put leather on the ends, and then this little silver part is just in the front. Have you guys seen that look? Oh, this is cute. Look at these beads. They're so pretty. They're brown and black. Right? I didn't even realize Banana Republic was that expensive. It is. All right, so these kind of look like little bench beads here. Of course, they're just little imitation, but they're pretty, and I love that 
white, brown, and black bead. That is super. A big crystal on top of the stone. Dominoes. I thought it looked a little bit like that Nightmare Before Christmas character. I forgot his name. I know Ruth. I know uh, Jude knows. <laughs> this is a nice bracelet, too. Glass and crystal and metal. Or cut glass. Not on the bangle, of course. Jack Skellington. Yes, didn't it kind of look like that to you? It did to me. This is pretty. A little cross charm on a stretch. Jack Skele Skeleton. Or Skellington. All right, this one still has a tag, and this one's so pretty. $17 from New York and Company. It's even oval, nice and comfy that way. <laughs> Your daughter told you. <laughs> that is so nice. What a nice, comfortable fit. That's pretty for jeans. It's, it's the totally denim color, actually. Oh, something on top of the Banana Republic. Yeah, for sure. How about this little one? <laughs> something like that. That'd be cool. Yep. Oh, my daughter loves Jack. She has so many things. Hoodies and, oh my goodness, so many things. Okay, here's a bracelet still packed as well. BKE, it's a little magnetic cuff. It was $12.95. And it has, really, it's really cute. It's got chains on the ends. Some kind of uh, comb. Rhinestones, bicones, or something sewn on there or glued on there. Qu can't quite tell. But it's pretty nice. That's a nice cuff too, isn't it? That looked pretty. Kind of a black gunmetal color. And then, oh, this is pretty too. There's some nice beads in here. This is broken. It does need a clasp, but it's darling. Another nice blue. Look at the beads on here, guys. I'm liking the beads. Very different. They look like cloisonne, some of them, and some of them are just like hand painted. Or at least they look hand painted to me. Porcelain of some sort. Prettiest colors. Oh my goodness. Those are very, very nice. That's a beautiful necklace. I love the patterns they used on here. The beads are unique. Very, they really showcase the beads. And it, all it needs is a clasp. It does match my nails. <laughs> Yep, pulled out the blue. I've had this blue nail polish forever, but it's one of my favorites. Look at this bracelet. Oh, I like this. Kind of a minty color here in the front. Then the little teeny ones have a pattern too. Can you see that? And then the little button looking ones look like um, a really deep khaki green actually. Nice toggle clasp on it, too. That's cute. Very cool. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I do appreciate that. Here's a little concho. And another concho. I think they were going to make something out of these. Made an earring here. Nice. And what else? Are we still under an hour? We are. We may get through this one. This is a long necklace, acrylic, black, and also kind of a green color, kind of an olive color. It's pretty. It feels nice, too, for it being acrylic. It's got a nice little feel to it. I like that. Let me see what else popped in the chat. Um, let me see. Sandra and Anna, thank you guys for joining us. I do appreciate it very much. Ditsy Blonde, Sherry, and Gina Dean. Thanks again. Appreciate that. Some of that stuff, guys, I just got, felt my jeans. Feels like I went to the beach. 
some of these have dirt on them or something. But who cares? There's some good stuff coming out of here, don't you think? Look at this statement piece. A little tangled, but we will get it out of here. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate that. Do you think this goes together? No. Now here it comes. All right. There we go. Here's the black one. The black one's nice, too. This is nice. I like when the statement pieces are different and not just the bib style, you know? I like the collar style, too. That's beautiful. Really nice. acrylic. Hi cookies. I like this too. Very, very nice. And then here's a green one. Also simple in a way. The bag was $29.99. It's one of my old ones that I got probably what? When was the last time we were out in the real world? January? Probably January, February I got these. That's pretty. That's very summery. Very 60s looking. Something white would look perfect with that. I know. This was a good buy. This was a really good bag. Better than some of the ones that we got last time that were... I mean, there was a couple of things like that Native American thing I showed you. But most of the rest of the stuff was pieces and unmatched earrings and that happens that's just the gamble you take with these honestly but it doesn't hinder my enthusiasm for them <gasps> it really doesn't okay i think it goes this way all right this is interesting because on some of them you can see the back and some of them you can't i don't know it's very pretty though it's got kind of a pearl looking like a mother of pearl crinkle in there like i don't know i guess it's faux and they just put some kind of acrylic over that and then it's an illusion style as well oh i know it's been hard <laughs> believe me it's been hard i think the only thing that keeps me from from tearing into them is the one, the wonderful auctions that I find, too, that make it exciting, too, because I see things there that, you know, I don't have. <laughs> I think this is a bracelet or a missing piece. I think there's a piece missing right here, guys. Something should go there, right? And I, I may have something to go there. This, that's the fun of the crafter lots. If I had time, I'd be redoing jewelry for sure. Like I told you, I used to do that when I was a stay-at-home mom. I had a lot of hobbies. Yeah, that's nice. I think it's missing a little medallion or something. Some kind of pendant should probably go there. Here's a Christmas watch. And here's a piece of something. And tiger eye is part of that. That's nice. It's got a little, probably the extender part of a necklace. Thank you. I appreciate that, Sherry. Here's a little gold stretch. Just acrylic. Still nice and stretchy. I like when they double these up. See, that's a good idea to do, too. Triple, actually. I think they stay stronger that way, don't you think? Don't you think? This bag was $29.99. Look at this. Oh, I love that. You know, I love my red. Oh, that's cute. That's very, very pretty. This is going to match a ring I just got. <laughs> it's darling. It's acrylic. But I love this little, I don't know. What would you call that design, guys? Festooned? I don't know. Just so pretty. 
I love that. And I love the antiqued metal. I like that it's long. That's beautiful. No red. Gothic is a good word for it. Very nice. Another concho. And oh my goodness, another one of these things. This is a choker, guys. These people were not playing. Look at that. That is a choker with chains and feathers. Look at that. And gold tone. <laughs> What's in the front? Oh, look, it's got real feathers and a metal feather. Wow. Probably had more on the other side, too. I think I'm holding it wrong. Okay. No. So it almost looks like it should be like this. There you go. Maybe like that. Oh my goodness, that is cool. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look, it's got rhinestones too. Oh my gosh. See, I would I would take that off and put it on a plain chain, and I think it would look so pretty. On a short gold tone chain. That's so nice. Yes, share, absolutely. And she would wear it well. <laughs> All right, these are nice. These are, I think, um, J. Crew. I'm not sure. Let me see what they say on the little thing. They're nice and heavy, too. Cat. Oh, my gosh, I can't read. Can't read it yet. You have earrings like that? Cool. Katie. Katie Loxton. Okay, I've seen. I think I got some last time as well. This is very pretty. Nice little stretch. It's got a pretty CZ or crystal or rhinestone I don't know there that's cute I like that and I think I had one similar to it in another jar very pretty here we have something silvery could be could be it is it is it is bingo yay some sterling it's marked right there oh I hope so too <laughs> before you run out of yarn and hangers you're making some oh cool Check eBay for that yarn. I was selling yarn on eBay and it never sold. And I was giving it away and it was fancy. Beautiful yarn. I could not believe it didn't sell. All right, this is marked V5 V and 925. So it's got some kind of an artisan, I guess, essay or something. I don't know. And it's pretty. It's a little hinged. 925. Oh my goodness. This alone is $29.99. And that's what I paid for the whole bag. I gotta get Robert to polish that up. That is super nice. Different. I, I've seen the ones that look like belts. This is kind of different. You could easily hang a charm on there. Anything with a big bed would be nice to make it a one charm bracelet. Look, I think we got matching earrings on that goth piece. Well, one earring so far. Yeah, most definitely. Here's a whistle. Cute. A golden whistle. I'm not going to blow on it until I throw it in the dishwasher and sanitize it a few times. But that's kind of cool. Very heavy, too. Here is one of these. Aw, little zipper. <laughs> that's cute. A little fun bracelet. Oh, thank you, Gloria. <laughs> Same here. Look at this sweet ring. This is pretty. Let me take off a ring so you can see it. It's purple enamel, and it's just little sparklies. It's cute. Very cute. Okay. What else is here? I do. <laughs> this is um, kind of dirty. It's got a little stain. It's ribbon. But that'll go in a crafter lot because somebody can just spray paint that and have a lot of fun with that. Not a problem. I was going to say that too, Gianna, but I didn't want to say it. It really does. Isn't that crazy? 
sometimes I'm telling you next time we talk about other things than jewelry I'll tell you about my horrific week but not today and it's only started it's only Wednesday oh my goodness this is cute it's a little coil but it's tangled up with this little silver one I love I really like this one this is pretty but we'll have to take this out of there. I like that. Little memory wire. Cute, cute, cute. And this is outstretched. Crafter lot. Aw, oh, Jude, I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better. This is a buckle, and it's a butterfly. See, so, you now that might be something you could glue on a telephone case or something you'd have to pull this off made in korea too it's probably vintage thank you thank you jude this i like the necklace a lot i'm not crazy about this too much but this is glass and it feels so nice i'm all about fidget jewelry guys i swear i don't know why but it feels so nice it's kind of cool Look at that. Feels really cold. You can see this the cord through it. And the cord looks like wire, but it's not. Very nice necklace. Yeah, that was an interesting ring for sure. <laughs> Look at bunnies instead. Okay. Stretch. Orange. Almost done. So I think we did keep it under an hour. Awesome. Here's a nice piece that came unglued. That'll go in my rhinestone lot that's right there. Full of rhinestones. And there's the other earring. So we did get a match on these concho earrings with denim. Here's a pretty bracelet. Natural stones here, highly polished. Not sure what they are, but they're beautiful. Hi, Miss Mellot. Mellot. SW. What's your name? Is it Sherry? I know you told us the other day it was Sherry, I think. And you couldn't understand why they cut your name so short. Sometimes YouTube does that, it, just so it'll fit. That is so cute. I like the way that feels too, but this one, see, here's another total shame. This is just about to give out because they are so heavy. This would have been much better with a little tiger tail or a memory coil. Oh, look at all these pretty pearls, guys. These are genuine pearls. And at that price, they better be $94, right? $94.99 for a batch of pearls in every color. Potato pearls. And they were on sale for $34.99. Where is this from? This kind of looks like, um, is it Hobby Lobby ticket? I'm not sure. Or Hobby Lobby doesn't even put anything, do they? Unless they're on clearance. I forgot. It's been so long since I shopped. This is nice. They're still nice and taut. Cute colors. Really pretty. It's a nice piece to find in there. Look at this one. Oh, the tiger. Oh, my gosh. I love this. this matches that ring I got from my beautiful subscriber. I'm so into the print. I always have been. But lately, I'm seeing it a lot and so loving it all over again. I don't know. I just love it. I think I probably have three shirts with the leopard print. I like the tiger print, too, though. I think my ring is actually tiger. But isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. I love that. That is awesome. I think I'm more excited about that than the sterling. <laughs> I really like it. All right, we got pearls from accessory here somewhere. Accessory, it says. They're nice. Now, these are on some kind of wire. Got a bracelet. Got the earrings and very nice luster on these. Cute. Yes, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Here's a pretty watch from Guess. Kind of have, has a little tog wear. Is it tag wear? Tag wear? I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's kind of got that look, but it's from Guess. That's a pretty one. 
And it's got day glow markers there and hands. Got a ring. Cute ring. Look, it's like a mo what is that name? What is the name of that really um, interesting ruby? And it's 9252, guys. Awesome. What's it called? I want to say, no, I don't know. Oh, I forgot. But sometimes it's like mixed in with, with emeralds. You, you guys know. This is nice. It's brass, sterling. It is marked inside. Can you see 925? I know it ends in it, <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> I-T-E. Oh, what is the name of it? Not tourmaline. The one that has like ruby and... Um, and sometimes it has the emerald, like the same host rock or whatever. So it's got this special name. Oh, I forgot. But I have a beautiful pendant that a subscriber from uh, from Australia sent me a couple of years ago, and I love it. Oh, that's a pretty ring, y'all. It's big, though. Doesn't even fit my thumb. <laughs> Dad. Sad. Ruby, Ruby Zoe. Yes, that one. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yes, but this is probably a size eight and a half. What a gorgeous ring, though. That's just so simple and pretty. I love when sometimes you just want the stone to stand out, don't you think? I, I love when I see a beautiful stone, even turquoise, and it's just the stone, and it's nothing about the setting. I love that. That's really nice. All right, so that's like a brass, and then that ruby... That special kind of ruby and sterling. Very nice. And there's another ring in there. Let me see what it is. Looks like one of those band with the enamel cloisonne or whatever. All right, nothing else in the band. Oh, no, it's turquoise. Oh, my goodness. And I was fighting for one at an auction the other night, and I lost. It was one of these crushed ones, but it looked more like a man's ring. It was, it was really nice, though, and I really wanted them. And look, I get one in a jar. How fabulous is that? And that one does fit my thumb fairly nicely. I love it. Wow, nice. This is that crushed coral and turquoise from 60s, 70s. Everybody had these in the 70s. Everybody had something like this. This... Uh, yes, it just came out of the jar, Miss Teresa. Isn't it awesome? Yes, Vanessa, I swear, last night I was in an auction and I was fighting over this one. I think I, I tapped out at about 30 or something, 40. I don't remember. I had already spent way too much anyway, so kind of tapped out and then look, now I get one. And I kind of like this one even better. I was going to wear the other one as a thumb ring too, though. They were cool. Okay, this one is is Mark Sterling in words. It simply says Sterling. No other Mark. Can you see it inside? Right. And it is in words, not in 925. Let me find it again. Let me find it. Okay, right there. Right there as you look down on it. Maybe you can see it. Very cool. Wow, I'm excited about that. I really love these rings. They bring back lots of nostalgia. There's some bangles here too, guys. This is kind of a gold tone, maybe brass as well. A little seam here. It says something on it. My faith is bigger than my fear. Oh, I love that. I love that. That is very, very nice. I needed that. Needed that this week. Look at this. This is pretty too. This is silver tone, I believe. It really looks like the texture of silver tone. But I love that. Little pink stones all around it. Exactly. Very apropos for sure. It's a little big on me too, but that's such a cute look, isn't it? I like that. And the, the color of it really looks nice. It's a nice, heavy um, quality material, so it looks good. Here's a nice one, too. I don't know what these are. They feel... They're cute. What is this? Oh, this is a 925 finding, guys. And it looks kind of like those old-fashioned ones. 
that are vintage, usually when they have this little bar like that. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get you to see where it says something. It either says Korea or Sterling, and I think it says Sterling. Let me look. I just put it on. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> I just found this thumb ring. Isn't that insane? 925. <laughs> it does say 925. And then it has like a little logo that has like a double C or something. It's incredible. Right? It's meant to be. The bracelet, I'm, I'm leaving it on. I'm leaving it on. And I'm going to give it to someone who lost someone. And that was what tore us apart. Well, we all lost him. But, oh my gosh. Anyway, here it is. This is super cute. I don't think it's amber. But it looks like it. And uh, maybe it's, uh, what's that other stone? That carnelian or something? But it's very pretty. Definitely all sterling around it. The little beads. Little hammer. Uh, nail head, rather, designs as well. That's a nice bracelet. Very nice. Here's a piece of something. I like the dangle too. And these are, are these wood? No, I think these are some kind of ceramic or something. Some kind of clay bead. Here's a big little thing. <laughs> a big stretch ring. Cute. Nice rhinestone in that one. Look at that. That's cute. That's going in the ring lot. And, oh, we did get the match to the red gothic thing. So that's very nice with that beautiful statement necklace. That's a pretty... Oh, that's a charm. You know what? This is probably like the one from Chico's because look how it has the little jump ring. The little crown prince. Here he is. I bet it's from the same... From the same... Um, what do you call it? Collection that they had at the store. Just seems like it would be. Love the little frog. He's so cute. And then here's an earring. Interesting earring. I like it. I don't see another one, though. Look, it's a cross with rhinestones and spikes. Very 80s. Very nice. Reminds me of um, Billy Idol or something. Oh, look, a little sterling charm. Possibly it's a little boy. Looks like sterling. It's also on a jump ring, but it could be like costume. I know Monet had some like this that they put out. I better put this ring on before I lose it. Wow, this is nice too. This is just silver tone. It is really cute though. Doesn't have any maker on it, but it looks like it's a little boy. So that is cool. Oh, hey, look. Who is this? This is, who is this? Pansy, right? What a precious little pansy. I'm going to put him over here with my bunnies. Yes. That's so cute. You know what? I think I had this earring from another jar. I hope I didn't get rid of it. This is actually a cool earring. It's leather. And like brass. And it's really kind of cool. I remember it now. I don't know where I left it. I know I didn't get rid of it because I thought it was really nice. But I did get it from the other jar. So we got a match from a long lost jar. Look at this bracelet. That's cool too. That's a nice look too. We piled all these on, guys. Love the watch. Ann Klein watch. This is very, very nice. This would make a nice bracelet. I mean, a nice choker. Redo this with just like this at the front and then maybe just all chains, you know, holding it up. Here's three bangles. Very nice. Still very nice color to them. Nice sound. Love the sound of bangles. I used to have an armful of bangles. I still do sometimes, but I had a whole bunch that made tons of noise. And I sold them because they got big on me. They were James Avery. Really nice. All right. And here is this. Ooh, cute. I thought this was, Is it? yeah, it is kind of a stretch. But it's a little bit different because I've seen this before. I like this. Gunmetal on one end. Nice flashy purple on the front. 
That's really cute. It's still got a nice taut stretch. I can't even put it on. I have to give that to my daughter or sell it. That's very cute. I can't even put that on. It's pretty tight. And a cool watch. This one says my gear or yeah, my gear or me gear. What a cute watch. I like this. That's a nice face too. Love watches. Okay. Pearls were nice. Awesome bag. Gosh, this did not even reveal its inner beauty at all, did it, guys? When I first looked at it, what well, all we were looking at was the Scrabble pieces. That's the thing that stood out. We found sterling and tigers and frogs and everything. Thanks for joining me, guys. We did keep it right a little bit over an hour, but thank you so much for joining me. I'll come back with another one. We probably should have broken this one up, but it's been so long since we did one, and we were having such fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you really soon. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Okay, we'll have coffee out in the sun or rain, whatever it may be. Love you guys so much. Blessings. Bye-bye.